Hi, my name is Hilda. Welcome to My Druid Life. Earth, air, fire and water are elemental to our Druid practice. We invoke them in every ritual and we use the concepts to bring balance to our lives. So, the E is for elements. The four elements of earth, air, fire and water were first described by Greek philosophers even before Socrates. The first philosopher to group these particular four elements together was Empedocles. He did that in the middle of the 5th century BCE and he described them as the roots, the four roots of creation. It took until Plato, about a generation later, to actually use the words elements. The concept of the four elements continued through ancient times into the Middle Ages and all the way to the 16th century at the very beginning of scientific observation. Nowadays, scientists use many more elements on the elemental table, but the four ancient ones have been used ever since antiquity in spiritual and magical practice. That's why you will find them in Druidry, in Wicca, in Tarot and Astrology. We can see the four elements in nature all around us. Earth is the fertile soil in which everything grows and that sustains all life on the planet. The air is always moving through the landscape, moving leaves on trees, keeping birds up in the air, breathing and being breathed by everything that lives. Water runs in rivers, gathers in lakes and fills the mighty ocean that covers so much of our planet's surface. It is refreshing and life-sustaining. Fire is the warming light of the sun and anything that we burn as fuel is the light of the sun released from where it was captured long ago by photosynthesis. The elements are also present in us. Our bodies the solid parts of them are bones in our flesh, our earth. Our blood is obviously water. We breathe air and the oxygen is carried to every part of our body. And our synapses fire with electricity, carrying information from one part of our body to the other. Less literally, these four elements are also part of our personality makeup and of our psychology. We think of solid, practical and grounded people as earthy. People who are full of emotions, who express their emotions fluently and easily, are thought of as watery. People who like to think about things and analyse them and talk them through are seen as airy. And the people who are passionate and launch into action immediately are the fiery ones. We all have all of those elements in our psychological makeup and some people lean towards one of them more than the others. Our language is full of metaphors for about personalities that are to do with the four elements. Somebody can be airy fairy or stuck in the mud or a firebrand. And when we find that one of those elements is too dominant in our lives, and influencing us too much, we can look around us in the world and find things that belong to the opposite elements so that we can bring ourselves into balance. So if we've had to be too fiery, maybe work hard in our company, or we've been an activist on the front line, or we have done months of creative work, then it might be a good time to balance that fieriness with the water that comes from expressing our emotions in our friendships and relationships. And when we have been too practical and too stubborn and solid all the time, it might be a good idea to turn towards the air of poetry and literature and f stories to inspire us and bring us out of ourselves.
druids, wiccans and ceremonial magicians invoke these four elements at the start of their rituals and thank them at the end. They are like the four corners, the four pillars on which the temple of our ritual is built. The druids especially like to do their ritual outside and they create a temple by casting a circle and invoking the four elements in the four directions. The traditional invocations of the elements in the order of bards, overheads and druids are very short and I think quite beautiful. This is how they go. With the blessing of the Hawk of Dawn soaring in the clear, pure air, we call upon the powers of the East. With the blessing of the great stag in the heat of the chase and the inner fire of the sun, we call upon the powers of the South. With the blessing of the salmon of wisdom who dwells within the sacred waters of the pool, we call upon the powers of the West. With the blessing of the great bear in the starry heavens and the deep and fruitful earth, we call upon the powers of the North. So, in each direction, we invoke an animal as a representative of the element. Over the years, these animals have become strong totems that carry all the import and meaning of each of their elements. Casting such a circle and invoking the four directions is a magical act in itself. I remember the very first time I cast a circle in my living room in my old house, and I remember the strong sense of balance and settling that I felt as soon as I had done it. And that same sense still carries through every time I cast a circle. What element do you feel most strongly drawn to? Which one do you think is most dominant in your personality? Can you think of something to do to maybe balance yourself some more? How do you work with the elements? Let me know in the comments below. Please click like if you enjoyed watching this and subscribe so that more people get to see these videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for the F of festivals. <laughs>